All right, let's tiptoe into edit mode. I'm going to hold down shift and A. I'm going to go over here and grab a new mesh. Uh, this time around, we're going to work with a sphere. Uh, I'm going to hit S to just make this a little bit bigger right now. Okay, first thing to jot down on your notes, hit tab. All right, going back and forth between tab or just hitting tab over and over again is, is going back and forth between edit mode and object mode. Okay, so object mode is what we were dealing with before. Edit mode, we can now actually go in here and edit this guy. So if there's another shape uh, in the scene right now, it's basically ignored because we're just editing this one particular one over here. And I'm going to hit A to just deselect everything that's already selected. And uh, move your eyes down here. We've got uh, three, three primary modes here for selecting stuff. We can go with vertices, we can go with edges, or we can go with faces. And let's take a look at each one of them. So vertices, all right, pretty much what you'd expect. We're just grabbing one little vertice at a time. With the edge, look at that. We've got this little edge over here and pull that guy out. And then face, you can imagine, is just individual faces over here. So if I'm holding down shift, I can select uh, multiple ones at a time. And let's see, if I even hit uh, if, uh, this, that, what I just did there was I hit uh, option or the alt key and it grabbed a whole, you know, the whole, uh, I guess you'd say, row of them, right? And same thing would work over here, too. See how that worked? All right. For some reason, my computer's being a little bit slow. And you can also do this with edges, too. So, again, I'm just going to hit A to kind of deselect all that. Let's go back over here to edge mode. And so I've got this one little edge over here. And then I'm going to hold down the option key. And you'll notice that uh, it selected that whole thing over there. And watch what happens if you move this up now. You can make basically like a quick little cup, okay? So I'm going to hit undo on that. And I think we still got some time left. Let's go and look at how about uh, some selection methods over here. Uh, let me, I'm going to hit one on the keyboard. So we're kind of more, you know, looking at this straight on. And notice that if I um, press this limit selection to what's visible, and I'm going to hold down, or I'm just going to hit the B key. To, and this makes a box selection, so it's going to just select via this, just make it a little box over here, right? Uh, you'll notice that when I did that, it actually was able, it was select, it selects what's behind it as well. Whereas, let me hit A and just toggle that back off. Click this again, and it's going to uh, limit it to only what I'm able to see right now. So again, I'm going to hit the B key one more time, write that down in your notes. And this time around, it only selected, let me swivel around here, only selected what I'm able to, or what I was able to see uh, previously, right? So that, you know, it's kind of a little x-ray through to, um, you know, be able to select what's behind, you know behind the shape and then or the other side of it I should say and then another way of selecting things you can hit the let me switch over here to the vertices mode um, you can hit the C key and then this is a circular area for selecting things okay let me just deselect that uh, and if you uh, hit C and then two fingers on the trackpad you'll notice that you can make the selection area um, smaller or bigger okay so now it's just kind of a smaller one, you know, if I want it a little bit more precise, or if, again, make it bigger, go through here and select all that stuff. Okay, so that is what we covered. I'll um, leave you guys for now. We're still at about three minutes.